Hello everybody, welcome to Trends. It's another edition of Trends with Dato. So glad to have you guys here with me today. Yippee. Okay, let's go straight to the point today. Media personality Tokemaki Wan, she made a video and then she said he thinks that um, it's disgusting for anyone to ask a single lady, when are you getting married? That this question is so common. People just like pop it to every single lady and then you begin to ask them, when are you getting married? Like keep your husband for them somewhere. I don't get it. Honestly speaking, it's, so, it's such a silly question. It is disgusting, like she said. It is stupid for anyone to just walk up to a lady and then you ask her, when are you getting married? I mean, it's, it's so disgusting. I don't think it's the next question for anyone to ask. It's none of your business if they are married, they are not married. It's none of anybody's business. They want to get married when they want to get married. You don't have to bump in on people and then begin to ask them, when are you getting married? Some people, they will go as far as asking you, um, this your child is old enough to have another person saying he's looking for himself another child. I mean, some couples, then they begin to ask them, oh, you have been married for a while. Once you have, begin to have children, I mean, it's, it's, it's so silly for anyone to just ask some, there are some questions you don't ask at all. It's none of your business. Like, come on, let's see the video. Yeah. What I'm about to talk to you guys about doesn't really bother me much. Those who have followed or been a part of my life for years will know that I'm very shameless. I say this, I have sold my shame. You know, and when you're dealing with someone who is shameless, there's little or nothing you can say that, you know, would face them. Because at the end of the day, they, I own my shame, okay? Like, there's absolutely nothing you can say about me, to me. Maybe not to me, because I wish... But, you know, just saying, like, there's absolutely nothing you can say about me that is new because you've heard it all before, right? Now, I think it's really disgusting behavior when people constantly ask me or women or whatever, you know, when are you getting married? When are you getting married? When are you getting married? Are you guys stupid? All right, guys, our next update is about Bob Risky, the Risky Bob. Um, over the some weeks, he has been silent, you know, he went for his surgery and then he just made a pose and he said I don't, and I, he said, I don't read this, what he said He said, I thought I was dying, the pains of the liver surgery almost took his life, that's what he said That he said, he, I mean, it was so painful, such a painful experience that anyone could I don't know why, did anybody first, our brother, Bianco, or auntie rather to go for the surgery and then she's now complaining that it's so painful that she almost lost her life blah 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 our, our next update is about Tonto DK it has been raining dollars raining a lot of money you know on her birthday she celebrated her 36th birthday some days back and then so much celebrations I mean what a better way for anyone to celebrate his birthday so much love and um, affection from friends, family. I mean, it's a very good one. Let's see some of the videos of our surprise birthday. A great philanthropist, a great politician, and also the senator, the president of the Evo West, Senator of the District of the United Assembly. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again. Can we welcome this great man, the great achiever of all time? Can we put in our form, the single senator, watch us a for him. Let him just say a word. Okay, okay, sir. Pass the mic. Please, can have. No, 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 Thank you very much. I, I am here to. We do not know how our movie stars are respected until those on the South African family. We are more appreciated than we appreciate some presidents of countries. So I want to say, I would have been very well of my friends, but I forgot to play with you. I do not want to just call you. I do not want to 
by robbers in his residence and then this guy was taken to the hospital with so much blood and then guess what as usual in Nigeria they could not attend to him because there was no doctor's report come on this thing has to stop I mean honestly speaking somebody is dying I mean they should have just treated this guy first instead of waiting for the doctor's report and in the midst of waiting and waiting this guy passed it's so sad that we have to go through this. Uh -uh. Somebody is dying, then you, you cannot even go ahead and treat. You're asking for doctor's report. And then he lost his life. That's why the things are happening. I remember how people have been, you know, been shot here and there. And then the next thing you're asking for doctor's report because you want to treat a patient that is already dying. It's so sad, really. Yes. 